Hello everyone welcome to Ego to Boy I am Dagur Rajan and I am thrilled to be here with you today because I buy a new laptop Asus Tough Gaming A15 Now in this video we are going to install Debian Dawn stable version Now let's start the video and also I want to tell you guys this is my second laptop This is my first laptop Acer Aspire AS15 4GB RAM and I upgraded to 8GB 1TB HDD and I upgraded to SSD In this laptop I am using Kali Linux with i3 window manager Today we are going to install Debian to stable version in in my new tough gaming f15 and one more thing in this acer laptop i installed a linux and i face big issues issues while installing linux in the system i try ubuntu also same result the problem was the grub bootloader not supported to the system i try a lot of ways to fix that and i couldn't find any solution and to avoid the avoid that i try to install windows 10 back to this system and then i installed linux and removing windows 10 except for windows boot menu boot manager and and then i installed linux and also i installed super grub 2 to 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 my usb stick still i am using to usb uh, to my system to boot to my kali so today in, in this session i am going to install debian to stable version to my tough gaming laptop so let's begin our video so let's start our video we need two files one is debian iso file and other one is windows to make a usb bootable double usb so let's uh, download debian tool iso you can download from here and it will download a nest net install iso if you have a stable internet connection you can go for that i am going to download full complete complete installation media and uh, once once you click other downloads and click on 64 bit pc torrents and go down you can download this one i prefer iso file complete iso file so go to parent directory and uh, you will see iso dvd click on that and scroll down you will find debian tool arm 64 dvd iso you can download that it is only 3.7 gb i already downloaded that and then you need windows click on downloads and you can choose uh, any of this uh, software you want windows nets okay. then you need a usb stick and go to downloads and you need to extract the windows uh, file go to windows click on that and you will see a application software click on that okay and you can see uh, it selected my 32 gb uh, usb 
and click enter insert so insert and this this will give you a warning this de this device will be formatted and all the data will be lost so if you have any data in your usb please back up that it will wipe out all the data uh, once you are done that click yes and it will ask to double check it so click yes Okay, it will uh, congratulations window has been successfully installed. Then you need to close that and you can copy paste the ISO file here. Okay, this is my Debian tool 64 bit ISO. Click on copy. And paste it here. Okay, it's done copying the ISO image so. Let's restart and boot into BIOS and we need to disable the secure boot option. So let's do it. And one more thing, one important thing, when you are switching to Debian or Linux, you won't get Armory create, Armory create on Linux. So some some more application won't uh, support Linux. Uh, the software uh, only made for Windows. And think carefully why by switching to Linux. So let's restart the system and boot into or insert Debian stable. Then you need to restart your system by pressing F10 while startup. Then you will enter to BIOS BIOS menu and first you need to uh, select boot priority then go to advanced option or plus F7 then you need to go to security tab and you will find secure boot option there click on that and you need to disable it and then you need to save save the changes by F10 clicking by F10 click on OK now let's put into window ok the window has been started and then we need to select our ISO and click on normal mode then click on graphical insert graphical installation then wait then you will uh, you need to select your language I will choose English and your country I will choose my country that is India and keyboard layout I will choose American keyboard you can select either one of this I will go with wireless adapter so click on that and my Wi-Fi and let me enter my password click click on continue then it will be connect it will connect my Wi-Fi and it's successfully connected then please wait
then you need to uh, set your um, device name I will uh, set my uh, device name Debian and dash followed by dash Rahul and you need to uh, set your domain name if you don't have leave it blank and this is this well this is the most important but if you need a root account you can um, set your root password and i am not going to set any root password because my normal user user will have the sudo sudo so i no need to set so, so set your full name i'm going to set my full name to set a password very powerful password click on continue and then you need to wait for a bit and this is most important part don't mess up I will use entire disk and and you will notice that there are three uh, disks one is my external hard drive and one is my USB choose wisely don't choose wrong disk I will choose my disk click on continue and I will choose all files in one partition click on continue and click on continue again and it will ask for your uh, permission if you are confident click on s it will wipe out all the data and you need to wait for a bit it will take some time Now you need to select your mirror network and click on S continue and choose your country and I will go with Debian to talk and you need to set or you can leave it blank. Okay, next, if you need to participate a contest that um, Debian will uh, request you to send some uh, data of your system. If you are, uh, want to send, you can click on S. Now you need to start your desktop environment. I will go for SFC because uh, later I will install i3 so it is not matter for me if you want you can choose your favorite desktop environment and wait Now, uh, installation is completed, so you need to remove the installation media. Then you need to uh, click on continue. I will remove my installation media from here. Okay, and you click on continue. Now, girl boot uh, Debian 
get more dollar this is Sarah and into it Okay, we successfully installed our Debian tool to our system. And one more thing, if you are facing a issue while updating your system by using sudo update, and then you need to uh, go to source file and uh, comment out the DVD part uh, on the top. Okay. Have a nice day. Subscribe to my channel.